Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the lead latch assembly in a Whirlpool washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a putty knife, torque 15 screwdriver, a pair of pliers, flat blade screwdriver, and a strip with a couple of hooks. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new lead latch assembly. The lead latch is mounted on the inside of the top panel at the front portion. It's a safety feature designed to keep the lead locked during the cycles to avoid any accidents. It's operated by the control board. If the lead won't latch, or if it does but the washer won't advance anyway, check the lead latch assembly and replace it if needed. Here we are at the back of the washer and uh, we are going to take out this cover plate. For that purpose I need to use the quarter inch nut driver and I take out the single screw and I'm going to remove the plate. Next I'm going to remove the two quarter inch screws here and uh, then we can continue with lifting up the top. Now we can take off this rear panel. I will use a quarter inch nut driver and we need to take five screws. And now we can remove the panel. Next we are going to open the clips, one on each side, there's a spring clip, so we can lift off the control panel. I'm going to use the uh, putty knife and I place it here in the seam and push it in. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And now we can take the control panel off and I press it forward and we can turn it over. Next I'm going to disconnect this plug, that, uh, that's our control panel plug. Using a flat blade screwdriver we're going to press out the locking tab, be careful don't break it. Pull out the plug and now I'm going to remove the control panel out of the way. Next I'm going to remove this plug and for that I need to press out the locking tab. I'm using a flat blade screwdriver that I used before and we're going to pull out the plug. The next step would be using the pliers, squeeze that uh, retainer clip and uh, push it through. Now we're going to place this uh, harness and the plug through the opening. Next I'm going to tape the lead so it won't open. Next I'm going to lift up the top. First we're going to pull the uh, top forward. We're going to play with it a little bit. Pull it forward, backwards and lift it at the same time. Need to find that spot where it comes off. And then we pull it up and uh, we need to latch that the slots over the metal hinges at the back there. Just like that. Now I'm going to secure the top with the string with two hooks. And place it in the holes here and let go. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to pry open that clip here so I can remove the harness. Then I'm going to move up to the second clip here. Next I'm going to remove this lead lock assembly. There's a two torque 15 screws that I'm going to remove using that torque 15 screwdriver. And 
And now I'm going to remove the old latch assembly. This is the old lead latch assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, now I'm going to install this uh, new lead latch assembly and start with uh, the mechanism itself and place it on. And then I'm going to secure it with a couple of torque 15 screws. And uh, I'm going to use this uh, torque 15 screwdriver, I'm going to tighten the screw. And then the second screw. Next I'm going to run the harness. I'm going to place it under and here. Then I'm going to use the flat glass screwdriver, I'm going to pop open that clip. I'm going to place the harness under. I'm going to down, down the harness. And we have uh, another clip. And now I'm going to place the plug into this cutout. And we're going to catch it later. And I'm going to insert this plastic clip into this cutout right here. Lock it in. Now I'm going to take off the strap. And lower down the top. I'm going to pull it forward. So it goes down and I'm going to push it back so it will lock. Now I can remove the tape. All right, so I'm going to run the harness underneath here. Pull the plug up and we're going to insert it right in here where it belongs. All right, so here we are. This is the control panel and uh, we're going to plug this in. So I'm going to turn it over and install it. We've got uh, three clips on each side, two plastic and one spring. So the uh, back ones goes first in and we move it toward you. And then you push it down. The springs will lock. Now we can install this uh, cover panel back on and place it over this uh, water valve. Then the plug, I should say a power cord, match the holes and we're going to install it. We need to place five quarter inch screws in and I'm using the quarter inch nut driver. And now we're going to secure the top with a couple of quarter inch screws. I'm using the same quarter inch nut driver. Now we can install this uh, cover plate back. This two tabs goes into these two cutouts. And I'm going to bring it in. And uh, I am going to use the quarter inch nut driver secure the plate with a single quarter inch screw. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.